cari amici di Autostyle, molti di voi sanno che Fabrizio Bonamassa è un protagonista della nostra manifestazione dall'ottobre del 19, quando ci riunimmo alla Corte Peron presso Mantova. Quell'anno, quell infatti, alla sedicesima edizione di Autostyle, Fabrizio riuscì a conquistare dal palco un folto pubblico di netto orientamento automobilistico, dobbiamo dirlo, illustrando i processi di realizzazione di splendidi gioielli Burger. Abbiamo ancora negli occhi i colori delle gemme, l'accurata realizzazione dei braccialetti a maglia. E va ricordato che il successo di Fabrizio avveniva di fronte a un pubblico già provato da importanti presentazioni auto, la Sian di Lamborghini, la Tonale dell'Alfa, la Barchetta Ferrari, la Continental Bentley, la Lexus UX, la collezione Zonda Pagani. Era semplicemente avvenuto che pur con altre funzioni, dimensioni, eccetera, il processo di sviluppo illustrato da Fabrizio aveva i contenuti di complessità tecnica e di rispondenza a canoni estetici ben noti agli appassionati del design, design auto di alto livello. Ora Fabrizio, con le stesse chiavi di lettura, ci condurrà nel vasto mondo degli orologi dove Bulgari può vantare indiscutibili record nella realizzazione degli ultrapiatti da polso. Vi auguro quindi una buona partecipazione a questa nuova esperienza. Welcome to AutoStyle uh, Digital Edition uh, 2021 and uh, welcome everybody. Okay, this is the bad and good things of uh, just the live. I'm really excited today to uh, present a very important uh, Uh, worldwide uh, and world-known brand uh, like Bulgari and let me to introduce Mr. Fabrizio Bonamassa Stigliani. Welcome Fabrizio. Thank you very much for being here. I'm really proud to have a talk with you about this uh, uh, amazing word uh, about uh, Uh, jewelry, but uh, uh, we start with uh, watches uh, and uh, uh, this very, this very uh, uh, amazing, uh, amazing. Uh, uh, masterworks. But first of all, uh, thank you for the presentation. Thank you for uh, me being with you. It's a, it's a very, it's a great pleasure for me. I have to say thank you to Berman uh, for this uh, invitation. It's a very, it's a, it's a great pleasure. Um, just a few words about about uh, the company. First of all, uh, you are in my office in the design center, watches design center in Neuchatel. Here in Switzerland, we have our headquarters for watches, for perfumes, uh, and uh, in Switzerland, we produce our timepieces, uh, jewelry watches, male watches, and ladies' watches. Today, I'll try to explain uh, through some videos, uh, some sketches, some pictures uh, our uh, process uh, behind uh, the Octo Finissimo, the ultra thin watches, and some examples of completely different business that is the eye jewelry pieces. Uh, so the company, uh, it's, uh, I joined at Bulgari 20 years ago, more or less. In November this year, it's going to be 20 years. And I started my career when I was very young. Uh, let me say that I started my career when I was four. I started to make sketches uh, during my childhood and I never, never stopped. Still today, a great part of my day is to make uh, sketches and to imagine object that doesn't exist. Uh, the company is a more or less 150 years old company. 
with different business units. So today, Bulgari, let me say that is a global brand, very well known for incredible uh, um, jewelry pieces. But we produce uh, perfumes, uh, accessories, uh, uh, sunglasses, small leather goods, uh, watches for sure. And we have uh, even hotel and resorts around the world. This is just a few words. It's a great opportunity for us to host our client uh, in different Bulgari houses that we have around the world. So, um, I think uh, we can see all the sketches in, in your studio, Fabrizio. They are uh, beautiful. And uh, we can just show all the audience uh, a beautiful video just to introduce uh, what you are saying, just to uh, make a mark on what we have just said. And then we'll jump together again live. So let's enjoy this uh, beautiful video. And then we'll start again uh, speaking with uh, Mr. Fabrizio Buonamassa Stigliani about design. Thank you. Design non vuol dire solamente disegnare un oggetto bello. Design vuol dire innovazione nell'utilizzo del materiale, nell'utilizzo del prodotto e nella maniera di portare e di utilizzare un oggetto. Octo Finissimo è una microarchitettura, è un orologio fatto da diversi elementi che sono stati compressi assieme senza perdere la loro unicità di disegno che dà l'opportunità al cliente di indossare una grande complicazione in maniera completamente diversa, in maniera assolutamente italiana. Oggi bulgari oggi sono un, un viaggio incredibile attraverso la storia del design italiano, un heritage unico nel mondo del lusso e un savoir faire che arriva dalla più alta conoscenza dell'orologeria svizzera. What's an amazing uh, video, Fabrizio. I, I can say that uh, the, best, the best thing was and working uh, and drawing uh, and assembling this beautiful masterpiece. How are important your hands just doing this, this, this work? Uh, let me say that um, you can make some uh, very impressive sketches 
But at the end, uh, the most important things, and this is not just because we are talking about watches or cars or furnitures, the, the, the process is always the same. Yeah. Why the client has to use uh, an object that we, that we are designing, that we are drawing? Um, so it, for me, the most important things on the Octo Finissimo, as you can see, it's a small architecture. We compress the, all the element of the Octo. Uh, the most important thing is that is for the first time, uh, we were able to introduce a different way to wear a grand complication watch. Uh, before the Octo Finissimo, uh, this kind of watches is just with a round shaped case, with the leather strap and with white dial, so very formal. Uh, the introduction of the Octo Finissimo was to be, for the first time, a sport watch with this kind of uh, technicity. So, for the first time, the ultra thin execution and the sport watch uh, is together in the same product. I think that this is the most important thing. I make many, many sketches during the day, and um, you, we can see some of these yeah. sketches on the screen uh, just uh, because i have a very strong and unique connection between the brain and uh, and my hand and my fingers so when i start to imagine an idea and uh, an object i start immediately to make sketches and i am honest i make sketches with the ballpoint pen i make sketches with markers i make sketches on the ipad or on the wacom uh, the, the most important elements of the sketch is uh, the idea that you have behind and the idea that you want to tell. Because otherwise, you can make a beautiful sketch, but it's just an illustration. The most important thing is that you have to convey all uh, the ideas and the value of the product through the sketches. So the idea is the most important thing. As you can see here, we have a Sketch uh, the talk about the, the minute repeater. We have seven world records in a row about uh, ultra thin execution. And uh, as, a, as a, a creative director of the watches, um, our responsibility is to design all the elements that you can see on the watch. So even the movement, because on our watches, the back case is a crystal. So they start to discuss with me and with my team because I'm not uh, I'm not alone about the finishing and the shapes of the bridges. When you design a car, for example, you have to design all the elements that you can see: the interior, the exterior, the wheels, all the elements that you can see when you open the door. So in the watches, is exactly the same things so we discuss about. Uh, first of all, the idea, Fabrizio, what you would love to do. And the idea is that I would love to have a small second counter at six o'clock. Okay, to do this, we have to change the shapes of the bridges and we have to shape, we have to change completely the main plate or other components of the movement. And we start to design these kind of things together. This sketch, for example, is made with uh, the with, uh, with the Wacom. I love to use this kind of tool because uh, it's very you can see immediately. You imagine when I started, uh, um, when I joined Bulgari in 2001, my first drawing of a dial and a watch was made by hand. So after three days, when I start, when I finished to design all the indexes of the watch, maybe this is not the right design. And I started with Wacom and with, uh, with this kind of tool today, we can say that uh, is a, a journey through, through, the, through drawings, through design, because you start uh, by hand, but you're using your hand both analogic way and the uh, digital way. It's a continuous process and never stop. You say you started at four. I remember in my childhood, I started first uh, to sketching before to learn uh, how, how to talk. And uh, I think it is a very <laughs> lucky, lucky thing in, in our life. Yeah, now we are very lucky because we we have this gift, and honestly, for me, it was uh, it was my first uh, uh, passion, and still today, my is my biggest passion. Behind me, you can see many sketches of different objects. Beautiful. You also, can see, uh, also architecture. Not only not only watches or other things, but also architecture and cards and uh, everything that yeah, give you exactly, inspiration. Exactly. Yeah, you can see a bat, a BAT uh, made from uh, from Scaglione, from Carrozzeria Bertone, an amazing Alfa yeah. Romeo, it's a sculpture. And uh, you can see Santivo alla Sapienza Beautiful. and another architectural elements from Rome. Yeah. Because during 
this session we're going to talk in the second part about uh, the AI jewelry watches and the uh, Baroque collection and this kind of architectural elements, it was one of the inspiration of this collection. But during these sketches, you can see how is uh, clear the idea uh, about details, about finishing. I think that uh, uh, this is the most important elements uh, uh, to use the sketches uh, uh, to explain what you have in mind. And for me, I'll tell you, uh, it's not the most important tool. You can make a beautiful sketches, okay, but the most important things is what you have in mind. If you are able to have in different ideas, sometimes just a small detail is the cheap way to use an object. If you are able to make a beautiful sketch, it's something even more. But the most important thing is the idea and the concept that you have behind. Because otherwise, if you don't have a very strong idea on your product, you are able just to make a maquillage. And uh, the decorative elements, uh, it becomes old very, very often in a few, few years. But the pure idea is forever. So, sure. guys, uh, this no. is the most important thing. Makes beautiful sketches is important, uh, but the, uh, the things that must be different is the, and the small innovation. Yeah. And uh, I think, uh, Fabrizio, the workflow is not only related to technical drawings, sketches and technical drawings, but you work also with uh, 3D modeling and prototyping just to test because you start with a very big scale, but then you have to uh, print, for example, some parts, a scale one to one, just to uh, touch and see how the, uh, the body of the watch or other parts are just uh, uh, in the real scale. Mm -hmm. I'll show you some uh, some sketches uh, just to just to tell you the process. We are not talking about the Octo Finissimo, for example, uh, because uh, now I don't have sketches on my on my desk. But I'll show you just uh, an example of uh, just the first sketch about the new ideas of, for example, a new serpent that we're gonna see in uh, in the future. Uh, we start with this kind of idea. Immediately after we start to develop uh, a sketch like that, for example, you can see just the movement of the element of the snake. We go ahead with other details about uh, the eyes, about the diamonds, about the shapes. We start to investigate uh, in different position uh, the same object. And after we made the 3D file, the final renderings, with the computer either design, with the Photoshop, with the different tools. And after that, we are ready to have a prototype. Now, now a different example of prototype. Um, we use different technique. For example, as you can see, this is a jewelry, a jewelry watch. Uh, the bracelet is a completely um, uh, produced with a separate link and after is assembling in our manufacturing site. This is another example with different technique about the shape of a bracelet. This stage is very important for us because for the first time we have the watch and the object in our hands and we can put on our wrist. And this is the most important stage for me after the sketch and the ideation because for the first time you can touch and you have the, the perception about the dimensions, uh, the size, uh, of the products um, and after we produce metal uh, metal prototype okay we can see also some beautiful pictures that you send us i can just open it because uh, we saw how for example you start uh, it's like uh, a surgery for what is yeah yes it's uh, that's very uh beautiful to see how uh artisan could uh, just touch and assemble everything and so many uh, small, very small pieces, but perfect that uh, uh, have, they take place in the in the assembled. Uh, I'll show you the same. For example, here we see the bracelet and so many pieces, but they fit perfectly one on the other, and then we can see um, also the the finishing and the different uh, variant. For example, and. These are all the pieces that are inside and so much, so many, and uh, they, they are just masterpiece of uh, 
mechanical works. And here we see just the kind of uh, uh, masterwork, uh, just working on a very uh, complex uh, part. Uh, it's very, it's very uh, exciting. It's very uh, fascinating just to see uh, how to put together all this part. The very end uh, is uh, this uh, this picture how to close everything when everything is uh, is done uh you can just put the, the final glass there i think it's uh, just the conquest of uh, uh the the masterpiece and ready to wear and uh fabrizio uh while going on and uh presenting also the second uh, the second part the second side of uh bulgari watches that it's very uh more oriented uh as jewelry more uh, linked to uh, heritage of uh history uh i have a, a little question about uh, uh something uh, uh that our audience is asking uh if you agree i can just put this question to you and uh it's about the future because uh you mentioned the future before and uh pavel is asking us if you think that smartwatches will take place uh, uh, in the future. They will replace totally the um, traditional uh, mechanical watches in the future. What's your opinion about uh, smartwatches? Okay. This is the beautiful thing things about uh, the live uh, we cannot hear you fabrizio maybe microphone has some problem but we'll wait for you tell me if you can just uh hear me yeah okay but we cannot hear you fabrizio let's check again with the microphone I think we can just answer this uh, this question later, and uh, if you are um, agree, Fabrizio, I can just introduce the new the new part, the second part of this uh, of this event of this uh, uh, talk, uh, showing another beautiful another beautiful video. Because uh, maybe there are some problems with the mic, and uh, we cannot hear you. Tell me if you are agree, and I can just start with the Barocco. Okay, I can start with the Barocco video. It's a beautiful video, and then we can just uh, connect and talk about it. Each time we have to find a different way to tell you that Bulgaria is a unique brand. Each time we have a different challenge, each time we have a different source of inspiration, but at the end uh, we talk about Rome, we talk about Italianity, we talk about an amazing craftsmanship. Italy and Rome is the biggest source of uh, ideas and creativity for us. Barocco, it means uh, maraviglia, it means uh, illusion, it means uh, fill the empty space uh, with, uh, with the new proportion and with the new forms. This was the idea behind uh, this fantastic period. Thanks to some artists like uh, Gian Lorenzo Bernini and Borromini, we have this amazing example in Rome. When we have to uh, turn this kind of inspiration in a piece of jewelry or in a piece of uh, high-end watches, it's not so easy, but thanks to the amazing heritage that we have and thanks to the inspiration that comes out from the jewelry department, we, we are able to produce these three fantastic watches. We talk about uh, two watches for ladies and uh, for the first time, uh, 
and new octo with a very special execution. We get inspired from the jewelry division. I saw in Rome some amazing execution and uh, we decided to use this kind of execution, this kind of inspiration to make something brand new for Bulgari. One of these three fantastic pieces is made with the pearls, one of the most important element in the Baroque period. It's fantastic because uh, at the origin of the Baroque we have a specific pearl. It comes out from the New World. It was uh, called Baroque because it was not perfectly round. So it was, uh, it was something absolutely new. For the other two watches, we talk about a new secret watch for ladies and a new octo with a very specific design. The inspiration uh, comes directly from the EI jewelry collection and uh, when I've seen uh, this beautiful necklace in Rome, I immediately imagine to have an octo watch and a ladies secret watch. The idea is to play with the latest period in the Baroque, full of decorative elements, full of curls, full of round shape element to fill the empty space. With this uh, unique design, uh, the challenge for the I Jury Atelier in Rome was absolutely unique. In Bulgari, we are always inspired by the Italian beauty and by the uniqueness of Rome. Fabrizio, such a beautiful inspiration to Italian beauty, to heritage. Uh, I, I was born in Rome, so I grew up uh, with the Baroque, with Borromini. Uh, you have Santiva La Sapienza on your sketch uh, beside you. And I started to study everything like uh, an architectural student. So uh, I think that is a uh, very important uh, uh, history and uh, also the uh, this reference is about Baroque to create something that is uh, special as that period uh, in the history of uh, um, art, uh, architecture and, uh, and culture yeah, yeah. too. Can you hear me now? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. It was, uh, I'm back. It was a bit a uh, problem with the, with the connection. So. Um, uh, it was an amazing inspiration for us, the Baroque collection, as you can see behind me, some sketches. The idea was to uh, celebrate the opulence of this uh, very incredible monument that we have in Rome. Um, this is the second part of our, of our presentation. Uh, the uniqueness of this brand, uh, it's, uh, we are able to, to put together the, the high-end watchmaking that comes from Switzerland, uh, the, the, the high-end content in terms of watchmaking come from Switzerland, and the amazing know-how that we have in Italy as one of the most uh, incredible and uh, important jewel maker. Um, the Barocco collection, as you can see, it's very opulent. It's very it's full of different elements. Uh, just, to, just to show you uh, some sketches during the process, uh, that we have uh, here in office. Uh, this is one of the most uh, incredible pieces that we made with an amazing ruby. Uh, we talk about some millions, let me say, for this piece. is uh, is a secret watch uh, that you can see with a cover under this amazing ruby. You can open and you can read the time. Other object uh, and other jewelry uh, pieces that made is made with a different technique. Again, uh, on the on the Wacom, for example, for some uh, designer to work with me. Uh, the most important element, again, uh, is to be able to convey the value of this uh, specific period in Rome uh, with something that makes sense in terms of jewels. Um, to make this kind of product, you have to imagine that we spend more or less one year to develop and to produce six, eight months to produce a watch. Often when we talk about this piece, is uh, just uh, one of a kind uh, for some clients, or one off uh, for uh, um, for the collections. When we sold these pieces, that's it. Uh, so we produce this kind of pieces in our atelier, and it's absolutely made by hand, one by one. It's a very long process, and this is a completely different aspect. When you combine, when you when you imagine, for example, the octo finissimo again, yeah. it's a very technical piece. It's a small architecture, and you imagine. Uh, 
on the other hand, this kind of execution as a jewelry, it's a completely different way to imagine the product. But at the end, the most important element for the young designer uh, must be that you have to imagine that we are talking about the same brand. Uh, it's very important to be able to convey the value of the brand, the brand DNA through different products. But at the end, uh, we have different clients, but it's absolutely the same brand. Uh, so when you start to imagine a product, you start to make uh, um, sketches, but in your mind, you have to be very clear which kind of client you have in front of you and which kind of message and which kind of uh, elements of your brand you want to you want to talk about. Because otherwise, if you start to change each time the aesthetic motif, uh, the client is start to be confusing and uh, follow different uh, different things. This is something very important in terms of design. In the automotive industry, they call family feeling. When I was young and I start to, to play with cars and designing cars, it was one of the most, uh, the biggest obsession to design different things and different cars in different sizes with the same family feeling. Today, it's we are a bit... Uh, too much in this kind of uh, things because uh, you can see sometimes the discussion is that the car is always the same they change just the sizes and the color but it's very important uh, even in other objects uh, to be able to convey the same value and the same uh, brand dna and the same signs to different products because otherwise the clients are not able to follow you um, we have in our in our uh, manufacturing side, we are able to, to have many, many uh, métiers d'art, as we call in French, uh, different craftsmanships. Um, I don't know, Alessio, if you, if you want to make some questions. Yeah. I hear the questions before. Yeah. It was impossible for me to reply. Okay. I don't know if you want to reply now or if we're going to go, if you want to go ahead with the presentation. Maybe we can just show other sketches about the Barocco collection and other uh, collection uh, oriented on jewelry. And uh, uh, then we can just have, uh, if you have time at the end, we can just have a Q&A session with a many yes. questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. So I want to show you the, the beautiful sketches that you send us. And uh, that's the way to... As you can see, yeah. completely different object and often completely different technique. Uh, our designers, honestly, are free to express their creativity in different way. Uh, the, the object here is made with the serpent. It is one of the most important signature of the brand with a lot of pearls and the Baroque elements with diamonds. For sure, um, when we have to describe these kind of things to our suppliers or to our client, it's very important to make uh, sketches um, able to explain uh, what we have in mind. Uh, as you can see, uh, you, you can go ahead with the other sketches and uh, we have a different technique uh, with, this is again another amazing one of a kind watch that we sold on the sketch. The client was in love and immediately uh, we sold the watch in, immediately. This is a completely different technique from the technique that I use. I love to make uh, handmade sketches because I love the stroke. Even if I use the Wacom and if I use the iPad, I love to see the stroke because for me it's the, it's the first expression of creativity. In me, our Korean, uh, Korean uh, designer that we have here in Neuchâtel uh, use, uh, use the Wacom and uh, used to play with the real elements, putting together to have a very, very, um, very real effect yeah, this is a handmade sketch mm -hmm. yeah but we have different technique to express to to this different expression this next slide we saw a picture or is a rendering uh, fabrizio this is not a, this is at this stage uh, the watch doesn't exist okay. yet is exactly uh, what i've seen what i've said before um our designers often play with the real elements and put yeah. them together to exactly to have a very unique a very real effect this is a grand sonnery uh, sorry it's a minute repeater uh, it's a very important watch for us because again we are able to combine together male uh, mechanical let me say uh, know-how and very high-end watches in terms of jewelry this is the thinnest minute repeater that you find on the market 
it's so an ultra thin movement but for the first time we put on the ladies uh, on the ladies case a round shaped case with diamonds and baguette on on the dial um, I think that is a very important watch because we spend more or less one year to assembling and one year to set all the stones uh, it's absolutely we are able to produce just uh, 10 pieces more or less often uh, these kind of pieces are sold out and we are very happy about the results again uh, if we are talking about cars uh, furniture of watches uh, it's very important uh, the, the question why a client have to use our product because today on the market uh, you don't have any any choices doesn't exist a watch like uh, like the diva with the minute repeater yeah, movement absolutely for example uh almost two years to have uh, one of these watch and uh, how many how many months uh, to have uh, an octofinissimo assembled by depends because we have some octofinissimo it's a super uh, very very complicated okay. movement for the tourbillon uh, for example the manual winding could be on the skelet uh, we have to wait uh, two or three months but for the grand sonnery we have to wait six eight months just to assembling a watch and it's like uh, when in the automotive industry you have uh, a one-off okay. so we have uh, the same people around the car that have to follow the project from the beginning to the end and the grand sonnery watch for example you have just one watch masters that after 20 years of uh, working on the watchmaking industry, he, he, he has a very specific uh, talent. He is able to touch a minute repeater or a chime watch because it's 100%, more than 100% made by hand. And just uh, the same uh, um, hands have to start the watch and have to finish the watch because his sensibility that have to keep feeling his. Uh, his uh, passion for details and have to finish the watch you have to have a great love for it for it to to work on it maybe the passion yeah but you must uh, yes but you must be passionate of your of your work if we are talking about cars furniture again or watches uh, you have to be curious and you have to love your 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 work because otherwise it starts to become tough because you know we talk about something that doesn't change our life and uh, this is one of the most important elements in the luxury world. In the automotive industry, you are obliged to use the car still today. On the, on the luxury world, uh, if you don't want to buy a watch, uh, you don't need the watch. So it's a completely different uh, approach, let me say. Okay, thank you. Now we, uh, we see uh, this, uh, this important uh, uh, collection made with a, with a stroke, uh, with, a, with a sketch yes. as a, you said before just to understand how you can uh, uh, translate your idea directly on on paper both analogic or digital way but uh, that's the way that that you love to to sketch uh, object and uh, a project yeah this is a this is a sketch made with a fountain pen in a certain moment of my of my life i was obsessed for fountain pens inks uh, and different needs from different brands around the world and uh, that's why I start to make sketches with the fountain pen is a different expression. And I love to, to, to let the fountain pen sketch on my desk. And with the sun, uh, with the sun ray after the weeks, you can see that you have some different yeah. shades on the, on the same, on the same sketch. And this is absolutely unique. Other sketches of the, of the diva collection that we love to play with the feathers, for example, it's a very difficult to play with feathers. Again, we mastering different uh, different craftsmanship with different materials, and uh, the the peacock uh, it was one of the most uh, incredible one because it was not so easy at all to find the Bulgari way to play with uh, with feathers. And you can see the watch is uh, is a very unique movement. We don't have the hands; we have just two different uh, discs that turns. Yep. And you see the, the you can read the time through these two diamonds with different shapes, but the stars that you can see the blue stars and the brown uh, dial is made with the uh, marquetry with a mosaic of uh, peacock feathers. Just beautiful. And here we have another very important project. Yes, this is another cuff. It's another sketch that I made with markers about uh, one off that we made last year. 
It's uh, the idea is to make uh, a serpent without the head and without the body of the snakes. As you can see, you can find a different way to play with the, your iconic signs. We are very famous for the serpenti that turns around the wrist. Yeah. The idea here was to talk about serpenti without the serpenti. So just the texture, the hexagonal pattern. The geometrical elements are very important for Bulgari and we love to play with the geometrical elements in a different way. That's why we have the hexagonal elements that come from the serpenti skin uh, from our archive. But now we can see and this is uh, also how all these things be became reality because you have a surprise for us on uh, on this part. We can just see how artisan could work yeah. also yeah. on these beautiful sketches. Because the, the most uh, difficult thing in my in my mind is just to see very complex sketches, but then realize it directly. And uh, I think we can just show this, this beautiful yeah. video. Please, yeah. Rizzo, what an amazing job. through history, through elegance, through high-tech, through uh, ants that create unbelievable things. It's a, it's a beautiful world. You open it us uh, just uh, the, the doors of, of your beautiful world about watches, but uh, say, saying watch is uh, not uh, the right word. It's, it's something that is complete. It's a word. It's a uh, uh, yes, architecture is design is something that is uh, related to uh, how you can translate uh, very complex uh, ideas into physical uh, objects that are masterpiece. One off like uh, a really uh, amazing car, uh, but we can just see how you can just manage different, very different kind of project. Uh, with the, with the same uh, uh, beautiful uh, approach. But honestly, but honestly, 
I'm, I'm lucky because, uh, um, as I said before, this company makes different things. So I, I'm able to, to, to help different business units uh, when, I, when we talk about jewelry, often high design jewelry collection, often I design high wear collection, so small leather goods with our business unit. So it's the company that gives you the opportunity to, different, to design different things. But I'm honest with you, uh, even for us that we start to imagine this object one, two, three, four years ago, sometimes two, two four years before, Sometimes when you see the real object for the first time is a great, uh, is a great emotion because uh, even if you make the most incredible yeah. sketch or the most incredible renderings, when you see the product, the real product and you put on your wrist and you can touch it and you can feel how it moves and the amazing work that the, all the, the people involved in the process made, it's an amazing, uh, it's an, a very incredible uh, emotion. So. Um, don't forget uh, that uh, a designer is uh, just a part of the process. Um, what we have behind us, uh, maybe it's even the most important part of the process. Because again, if you are alone, you can make a beautiful sketch or an amazing illustration. But otherwise, um, but at the end, uh, you must work with the marketing department, product development department, and with the manufacturing side that must be able to produce your bumper, your door, your steering wheels, or your elements. So the designer is a part of uh, this kind of uh, this kind of work. A very important part, but again, um, must be able to work in a team because otherwise it's just one man show, and uh, it doesn't work. Yeah. So, so uh, well. uh, he's an artist. <laughs> if you want to to do something by yourself, it's like working like an artist, but a designer uh, need to keep in touch with all the step of, of the processing and yeah. uh, know also if uh, uh, you are not uh, um, you not, don't work uh, uh, directly on uh, on the mechanism or other things but you have to understand what your uh, team is doing about that it's, it's that's a beautiful uh, process just to work together and uh, if you have time Fabrizio we have some question about our audience yeah. thank you for for your time Please. But the, the question are um for example what do you think about uh, the future of, of watches or about uh, just the smart watches that give us more information about health about everything but are totally different for example of um the watches that we that we saw together Uh, sorry, I was reading. Uh, I was reading one of the answers. Uh, Alessio, could you okay. repeat? Uh, uh, because I didn't think, get for it. For example, Pavel asked us, "What do you think about the smart watches?" Okay. Uh, honestly, uh, we were scared about the smart watches five years ago. It was uh, the end again of the Swiss watchmaking industry. Like was in the seventies when the quartz again was the most popular movement but at the end is a just a part of the of the same market um, when you start to collect uh, and when you uh, start to have uh, uh, interest in watches sometimes you can start with the smart watches but at the end you can uh, immediately discover that the smart watches is just a tool and all the people that use smart watches use it because they have a lot of apps yeah. that help you to make the fitness and this kind of things. They discovered that it was not possible to read the message or to talk with the, with the, with the wristwatch like a James Bond. So they use it because it's a tool. But on the other hand, when they grow up and they start to have a different uh, feeling they start to use a mechanical watch that they have in the family often from the father or from the grandfather so it's a step but if you love smart watches you are not in love necessarily for the mechanism for the mechanics watches but sometimes it was during a, a touring auto show maybe not geneva auto show i met a very very uh, important person and um, uh, someone asked me, uh, asked to, to this gentleman, sorry, sir, what time is it? And he say like that, oh, this is now, this is not my watch, this is my watch. So it was a smart watch on the left hand side, a mechanical watch on the, on the, on the other side. So as you can see, um, uh, they are completely split, the two things. This is a tool and this is my mechanical sense. watch. So 
uh, now it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a part of the same market uh, but we don't have any any competitors in this kind of segment maybe the most complicated things uh, it's for the enterprise watch for enterprise product that in a certain uh, in a certain way i have to choose if i have to buy an enterprise mechanical watch or a smart watch because maybe it's okay. more interesting and uh, for francesco asked us for example making a comparison with the uh, automotive world uh, uh just the, yeah. the running with it uh, with a combustion car and the electrical ones uh what is going on uh, with uh, quartz watches and mechanical one what do you think uh, is it similar okay no in this way it's uh it's at the opposite uh, we can use a mechanical movement for iron watches we can use a quartz movement okay. for enterprise watches we can use a quartz movement for iron watches uh, for this kind of piece because the watch is very small and we don't have doesn't exist on the market a mechanical movement with this kind of size but on the automotive industry they try to find the different aesthetics for a different uh, system uh, of uh, of engine and this is very interesting because uh, the most important brand uh, that we everybody knows it's an american brand that makes uh, full electric cars uh, have a different approach they use uh, a very uh, common let me say design uh, but they remove the the grill in the front uh, the frame so they start to change a bit uh, the way to imagine the car it's a very important things on the automotive industry with the electric uh, um, uh, engine often uh, today they have two different clients a very young client and very old client this is a very strange things because uh, the young generation are very interested in this kind of uh, uh, in this kind of engine and even the old one but the old one must be reinsured by a, a shape that everybody knows because otherwise it's something that is completely new and they are not ready because it's an older generation but it's okay for the young generation so when i was young and i start to design cars uh, the the way to imagine electric cars was a bit strange because you have to just wired cars that come from uh, that come from asia today the situation is different you have both you have uh, let me say common aesthetics with the electric engine and you have a super super daring uh, design so we will see in the future honestly today i'm sorry francesco but i don't have a clear answer for you but for sure the automotive industry is uh, in the most uh, incredible in the most important uh, moment because everything is changing even the young generation are not obsessed like uh, we were about cars and uh, we will see in the future because uh, for sure today we have many different ways to move in our cities with different uh, with different systems so everything is changing on the on the automotive industry we will see when i was a car designer my my job was uh, often interior design and uh, even the interface design was very important because it was at the beginning of the of the gps of the navigation system and it was very important for us to um, to imagine the shape inside the car with the many many brand new objects uh, if you compare with the, with the, with the old car so we will see uh, in the automotive industry you have a huge investment so we don't want to make many mistakes and uh um, yeah thank you for answer the, the very last thing uh just an advice for uh, our young designers that are just following uh, the event uh, the precious advice from you be curious be curious and uh imagine things in a different way think out of the box uh be don't be scared uh, because again uh, the octo finissimo let me say it's a common watch but for the first time we were able to combine titanium with sunblasted finishing metal bracelet and ultra thin movement uh, ultra thin movement was already on the market titanium everybody knows and sunblasted finishing everybody knows but for the first time we were able to combine these ingredients uh, together so 
just uh, just uh, be passionate, be curious, and thank don't you be so scared. much, Fabrizio. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Bulgari, to open us uh, this beautiful uh, um, place uh, to to see uh, how an idea could uh, uh, became just uh, a beautiful object. Uh, we can just uh, uh, end uh, our our talk with uh, another video, with uh, with the ending titles video of Bulgari and uh, Fabrizio. I hope to to talk to you very soon, and thank you for your time again. Thank you so much. It was a great pleasure, and uh, see you the next. See you. I hope to see you soon. And I leave you with this amazing video just to talk about how many people are involved in the in the design process and uh, in the products. Ciao, ciao, bye, and bye, I hope to see you soon. And uh, bye. enjoy the video. Mastery, genius, and passion. Bulgari, it's not only the Italian jeweler. It is also an amazing Swiss watchmaker, master of thinness, the Roman jeweler of time, expert in horological technology, 30 metal, 300 hearts, 600 hands, 6 world records of thinness, over 100 awards. Behind the Bulgari hours, there is mastery. There is genius, there is passion. Mr. Fabrizio Guaramassa Stigliani and Bulgari for this beautiful event. Uh, I was made by all these things. And uh, I, I think all of you uh, need to know, even to know more about uh, this beautiful history, more than 150 years for Bulgari, but uh, time is running out and uh, it's time to announce the new event. Next Thursday, we have Volvo with Robin Page and uh, a new way to imagine uh, transportation design. Uh, so new surprises for you. But uh, another surprise is that we have uh, a contest uh, Drive the Future, the Wagon Contest, uh, in collaboration with Auto Style Digital Plus Design. And uh, just have a look to, to the chat, because you can just see the uh, landing page to subscribe the contest uh, and uh, accept the challenge. And you can just uh, give us the, your idea of transportation design in the future. So some uh, second again to see the the link you can just uh, uh read here directly on the chat thank you so much for for your time and see you next thursday thank you